University of Mumbai, MCOM SEM4, Corporate Financial Accounting Question Bank Solution, Topic Valuation of Business, Problem Number 4. So today we are going to solve Problem Number 4. So in so this is our Problem Number 4. From the following information, determine the value of goodwill on the basis of five-year purchase of super profit of Saika Limited as on 31st March 2021. So they are given the liability and asset side, share capital, reserve and surplus, bank overdraft, creditor, provision of tax, proposed dividend, and its asset side they are given the fixed assets, stocks, debtor, bill receivable, cash on bank. Then next they have given the net profit of the company for the following year. So from 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21, they are given the net profit of the company. On 31st March 2021, fixed asset was valued at 2 lakh. Okay, so in the particulars, at a book value, fixed asset is 15 lakh 75 thousand, which is revalued at 2 lakh. So this is a market value which we are going to consider while solving the problem sum. So other assets and liability have been correctly valued. Okay, so all other assets and liabilities is as per as the book value as given in the particulars. You don't have to change it. In view of the nature of business, the 10% is the reasonable return on tangible capital. So normal rate of return here given is 10%. Consider closing capital as average capital employed and simple average for computing average profit. So we have to consider closing capital as average capital employed and simple average method for computing average profit. So for calculation of average profit, we are going to use a simple average method and we are going to consider closing capital as a capital employed. First, we used to assume it if it is not given, but it is given in the uh, problem sum itself that closing capital will be your average capital employed. So let's move to the solution. For this solution, we have to do five, uh, six steps. Okay, so these are your six steps. Please remember all these six steps because this is the format of solving such kind of problem sum. So whenever you have to determine the value of a goodwill, you have to uh, do this five steps. So step number one will be calculation of future maintainable profit. That is FM, FMP. Second, calculation of normal rate of return majority time this normal rate of return is given in the sales sum so here it is given 10 percent third steps will be calculation of average capital employed where you will take all the tangible trading asset minus all the external liabilities and if some if it is given the preferential dividend then you have to or a paid up for dividend you have to less that too then we have in the step number four calculation of normal profit step number five calculation of super profit step number six calculation of goodwill so you have to remember all these six steps okay so step by steps we will solve this problem sum okay so this is a solution of problem number four so first we are going to solve the step number one that is calculation of future maintainable profit. Here the average profit is not directly given in the sum but they have given us the net profit from the year 2017 till 21. So we have to take all this five year total profit. So I have taken this formula total profit into number of year equals to first 2017 profit is 42,500. 40, plus second year profit that is 2018 is 48,000 plus two for 2019 is 45,000 for 2020 uh, it is 50,000 plus uh, in 2021 it is 47,500 divided by 5. So the total of all this is 2,33,000 divided by 5. So average profit year we got it is 46,600. So this is our calculation of future maintainable profit and average profit what we have got is 46,600. Then we come to our next step that is calculation of normal rate of return. So NRR is given in the problem sum it is 10%. So we will directly write it as a 10%. Then we'll do our step number three, calculation of average capital employed. So we'll here, we'll take all the tangible trading asset at market value. 
So fixed asset, we are going to revalue it as given in the sum. In the particular, it is given as a one lakh fifty-seven thousand five hundred, but revalue amount is given in the additional information, which is two lakh. Then rest all assets and liabilities will be at the book value. So stock is one lakh, debtors seventy thousand, bill receivable seven thousand five hundred, cash or bank seventy five thousand. So total of the asset side is four lakh fifty-two thousand five hundred. Then we have to deduct all external liability. So special capital we are not going to take. Reserve and surplus we are not going to take because this is the internal liabilities of the company. Then we are going to take bank draft. Yes, it is external liability. Creditors, yes. Provision for tax, yes. Proposed dividend. So we will write the, all this value and we are going to add it. So total is 1,8500. So uh, once we divide assets minus liability, we are going to get a capital employed is 3 lakh 44,000. So average capital employed is 3 lakh 44,000 is your answer. Okay, so these are the three steps which we, we first will calculate future maintainable profit, second calculation of normal rate of rating, then calculation of average capital employed. Okay, then next will be your calculation of normal profit calculation of normal profit so normal profit equals to average capital employed into nrr divided by 100 this is the formula for your calculation of normal profit so average capital employed what we got is 344000 into normal rate of return in the second step it is 10 percent divided by 100 so normal profit is what 34400 is your normal profit then we have to do calculation of super profit in step number 5 so formula for super profit is fmp that is future maintainable profit minus normal profit so future maintainable profit what we got is 46600 minus 34400 so answer here is 12200 is your super profit then we have to do our final step that is step number six calculation of goodwill so goodwill equals to super profit into number of year of purchase goodwill equals to super profit into number of year of purchase so super profit what we got here is 12200 into 5 12200 into 5 which is 61 Thousand. So, 61,000 is your answer from sum number 4. Okay, so value of a goodwill on the basis of 5-year purchase of super profit of Saika Limited as on 31st March 2021 20, is 61,000. See, whenever you are solving the problem sum, it is always uh, important to write your answer in the statement form so whatever is asked please write in the statement form the value of a goodwill on the basis of five year purchase of super profit or cycle limited as on 31st march 2021 is 61000 so this is the way we are going to solve our uh, problem sum number four in six steps okay so what are the six steps just repeat with me first step will be your calculation of fm FMP that is future maintainable profit. Second step will be calculation of NRR that is normal rate of return. Sec third steps will be average capital employed where you have to take your asset, deduct all the liabilities. Okay, then you will get your average capital employed. Fourth step will be calculation of normal profit. Then Calculation of super profit, six number step will be calculation of good. So this is way, this is the format where you are going to apply to your problem sum and find out the answer. So that's all. Thank you. For next part, please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon. Thank you.